Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, November 9th. Welcome to another weekly reading vlog. Today I have to work at the salon. Then tonight, John and I are going to a play that a few of our friends are in or directing or stage managing. It's the last performance. So we're going to go with um, a couple of our other friends who aren't in the show and go support our peeps. So that's what we're doing today. Yeah. So as far as what I'm reading, I'm currently still reading Ruin, plugging along in that. I am reading The Deserter by Nelson DeMille. That's like my home book, the book I'm reading at home. And then I am a hundred pages into, um, oh crap, I forgot what it's called. The Ellie Alexander book that I'm reading, Death on Tap or something like that, yep. which is Okay, thank you, John. <laughs> Death on tap. So. You're not saying it right. What, am I, what is it supposed to be? It's supposed to be like, Death on tap. Yeah, John likes the titles of Cozy Mysteries. He, John likes to make fun of the titles. I'm not like, making fun. I just think they're punnily dramatic. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's what's going on. Hey everyone, so I'm back from work. It was a long day. I normally get done at like 2.30, 2.45, and I didn't get home until 3.45. I have about an hour and a half before John and I leave to go meet up with our friends. I got two page, what page is this? 276 while at work today. So at least I got some reading done while I was there. I'm like almost done with this. So I'm really enjoying it. I'm learning more about beer than I ever thought I would need or want to know. Beer's not my thing. It's more, it's more John's. Griswold wants to go outside. It's a fun, quick read. It's a little bit different than the Hannah Swinson books in that like the main character Sloan in this book is not like actively investigating where Hannah Swinson's like, I'm gonna do some digging. So that's a nice like difference between the two. I like both aspects. I'm going to try and finish this before we go out tonight, which shouldn't be that difficult. I have like an hour and I have like less than 50 pages left. So I'll finish that and then probably read some more of The Deserter before we leave. So yeah, that's my after work update. Good morning, everyone. Happy Sunday. So last night, well, yesterday before we went out, I did finish uh, Death on Tap. Really enjoyed it. I gave it four stars. Four stars, I'm pretty sure. It was a super quick read. I mean, I read it in less than a day. I just, I, I really, I really enjoyed it. And I'm excited to continue with the series. Uh, I didn't do much reading after that. I, I mean, I only had an hour before we turned around and left. We had a really good time last night with our friends. We went out for dinner and then we went to this play and it was just a really good time. We got to see friends that we don't see on a regular basis and we're hoping to get together with them again soon. So we came home and basically went to bed. So this morning I'm getting ready to work. Eh. Uh, I figured if I just do it now, sorry, my hair is a gross right now. Um, I figured if I just do it now and just get it done with, spend like two hours just busting out what I need to do that uh, then I can do stuff that I want to do. Like I want to edit a video and then I need to film a video, but then I need to get ready to film the video because this is gross. So that's my plan right now. So I'm getting ready to log on, get some work done and so that I can enjoy my Sunday. So yeah, uh, I will hopefully find time to read throughout today. I really want to, so we'll see how that goes. Hey everyone. So it is Saturday, not Saturday. I wish it was Saturday. It is Sunday afternoon at 4.30. I have not read at all today, but I'm planning on editing this video and then reading some of the deserter so that I can actually like get into it and tell you all what it is about because I've only I'm like 40 pages in but it's been a lot of like setup of like the the stop the plot so and like um and the characters 
So I can't really get into right now what it's about. So I'm hoping to sit and be able to just really dive into it once I get this uh, video edited, which I'm hoping doesn't take me that long. It's a long video, but I don't think there's going to be a lot of editing needing to be done. So yeah. Anyways, so that's what I'm about ready to do right now is just dive into the editing of this beast of an unhaul video. I don't know what I was thinking. This is taking me so long to edit. I talk a lot. I just took like a 37 minute video and chopped it down to like 15 minutes. And I still feel like that's really long for an unhaul video. Yeah, still editing. It is now 6.30. Yeah. Hello everyone. It is Monday, November 11th. It's like seven o'clock at night. I haven't updated you like at all today. I kind of fell asleep reading the deserter last night, so I really don't have, didn't have much to update you on this morning, so I didn't. So I am almost 100 pages into the deserter right now. I finally gotten through, like, I, I don't want to say the setup because it's all interesting. You get to meet the characters. You learn the backstory as to what's going on. But now they're in the country where the bulk of the story, I believe, takes place. So it's like starting to get good. Like I, I feel, I can feel the action getting ready to happen. So I'm excited about that. Uh, before I start reading this tonight, though, I have to read. Well, I don't have to. I'm going to read my 50 pages of Ruin. I've been really bad about it the past week. So I'm only on page like 341. So I I would like to get to page 400, which would be 60 pages, but I kind of shorted the last time I read. So if I can get to page 400 today, that would be ideal. I took this with me to work today because I really wanted to like dive in and get into it because I hadn't, like anytime I would go to read, I would fall asleep. Not because the book's not good, but because I was just tired. So I wanted, I took, I took the deserter with me to work today to read on my lunch break so I could like get into it. So I still have to figure out what my not home book is going to be, but I'll probably choose that tomorrow morning and let you guys know then. Hi everyone. So it's like 1030 and I did get to, let's see what page I got to in this in ruin. I got to page 402 in Ruin. I would like read a chapter or two and then like watch a booktube video and read another chapter and do some Instagram stuff. And yeah, so I got through that. Um, so slowly but surely making progress in that. When I sit and read Ruin, I really enjoy it. I really love, there are some characters that I really, really love. If you've read it, I love, I love uh, Veritas, and I, I can tell that he, like, knows that something's going on. I mean, he knows that something's up with Nathair, and I just like him as a character. I like Cywin, but I we haven't had her for her perspective for a while. I really like Coraline. Uh, she's another, like, strong female character. So, yeah, lots of good characters. Lots of, like, interesting stuff happening. There's, like, there's some battles that are getting wet, ready to brew. I can just tell. So it's it's good. Um, and then I've been reading The Deserter for the past, like, I don't know, 15 minutes or so. So this play takes place in Venezuela. Like, and it's, like, pretty much, like, present time. Like, 2018, 2019. And I don't know a lot about, like, the... Venezuelan politics and what's going on. I'm not, I should be way more up on my current events than I am right now. Enjoying learning more about a country that I don't know a lot about, even if it's just, you know, like some of the sites and some like very, very basic um, political type things. I just, I don't know a lot about Venezuela. And so I'm getting to, to learn a little bit more about a country that I don't know a lot about while also having a good time reading another Nelson DeMille book. So I feel like I'm probably, 
sorry, the boys are trying to like get comfortable and it's making me move a lot. Um, so I'm probably going to sit and read or possibly doze off while I wait for John to be ready to go to bed. Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday, November 12th. I wanted to hop on let you know what I chose for my like away book uh, to read at work. I decided to go with one of the middle grades that I checked out from the library. It all comes down to this. I feel like I want to say, and this could be completely wrong, Amanda at the Curly Reader said something about this because it sounded familiar when I read the synopsis, but I could be completely incorrect. Hey everyone, so it is Tuesday evening. I am getting ready to leave the salon. Just wanted to update you quickly. I did not read at lunch um, for my full-time job, uh, but I did just get a little, a whole chapter into It All Comes Down to This. And right now, it's all just introduction, so I can't really tell you much about it. But, sorry, I'm waiting to see if John's here. I'm going to go home, probably read a couple more chapters of this, just because I didn't do a lot of reading in it today, and then switch over to the deserter. Hey everyone, so I didn't update you this morning. It's Wednesday morning, November 13th. I had to run to a doctor's appointment uh, this morning just to get like blood work done. I have thyroid, thyroid problems, so I have to get my blood taken like every year just to make sure everything's good. And I just did my regular appointment, talked to them about, you know, health things and yeah, did all that stuff. Just my normal like yearly exam. So I got a little bit of reading done while I was waiting for that. Not much. I read like another couple chapters of It All Comes Down to This. It's fine. It's progressing. So yeah, I am now going back into work. I am starving because I can't eat or I can't eat or drink anything other than water before I get my blood work done for my thyroid. So I stopped at Dunkin' Donuts, got me my coffee, got me some breakfast at 1030. And yeah, I'm going to go do some of that work stuff. It's like nine o'clock at night. I just got home. I should edit last week's vlog because it's like almost, it's like 45 minutes of raw footage and I'm tired. I'm hungry. I have a slight headache, and that just doesn't sound like something I want to do right now at 9 o'clock at night. So, I'm probably going to do that tomorrow, and right now, I want to just, like, veg out, eat a snack, and either read or do something even more lazy and, like, watch TV. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do right now. I was reading The Deserter at the salon today getting into the action so i don't think i've even told you what the deserter is about yet so it's about this like army guy kyle mercer who has deserted his um john what's the word platoon not platoon but something like platoon i don't know uh a couple years ago and um these two like investigators scott brody and oh what is her first name something I want to say Megan but that's probably wrong Taylor are sent to Venezuela to investigate because he was this this guy Kyle Mercer was just was recently spotted in Venezuela so they are sent to Venezuela to try and find him to bring him back to the US so that he can be tried for desertion so I'm at the part of the book. They're in Venezuela. They are in this like really crappy part of town in Caracas. How do you say that town? City, whatever, in Venezuela. And yeah, they're looking for him at a, um, what's a nice way to say whorehouse? Um, Something of ill, of ill. Uh, house of ill fame. Yeah, because that is where he was supposedly spotted. So that's where I'm at right now. So it's getting good. And it's, it's written in like typical Nelson DeMille fashion, which is awesome because Nelson DeMille is one of my favorite authors. So yeah, I don't know if I'm going to read or if I'm going to just veg out and watch TV right now. We'll see what happens. 
It's Maggie Taylor, not Megan Taylor. I grabbed the book. Sorry, this is backwards because I have it in selfie mode. But <laughs> Maggie Taylor, not Megan. I knew I had it wrong. Anyways, I'm still trying to decide if I want to read or, oh, there's a glare from my TV. I'm sorry on my glasses. There's just glares everywhere. Um, yeah. Trying to decide if I want to read or watch TV. I think what I really want to do is I think I'm going to watch like an episode of How I Met Your Mother because I'm just in the mood to like watch something that I really enjoy and then probably read. Yeah, because I need to read because I want to finish both The Deserter and um, it all comes down to this ideally before next week because next week starts the buzzword readathon, which... I think I'm going to read two books for that or attempt to. We'll see what happens. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. TGIF. I didn't read last night. <laughs> I fell asleep watching How I Met Your Mother because I'm awesome. I was just really tired yesterday, so whatever. Uh, this morning, I don't want to go to work. Um... But it should be a fairly easy Friday. I'm like caught up on everything from the week. So I think it's just, well, I'm almost caught up in everything. I think I can get caught up in everything by the end of today. Fingers crossed. I don't feel like putting makeup on, so I'm not gonna. I'm pretty sure I won't have to take a short lunch, which will be nice. So I will have a full hour with which to read, which is going to be good. Yeah, so I'll read on my lunch break, come home, make dinner. I have to edit last week's reading vlog because I'm going to be ending this week's reading vlog today and then I'll have to edit that. Plus I have to edit my regular video. I have lots of editing this weekend. I'll probably touch base with you at lunch because I think I'm going to have to run and grab my prescription, assuming that it gets refilled in time. Hey everyone, so it's my lunch break. And today has been a horrible day at work. I went into it like so optimistic. I'm like, I have like, I'm almost caught up on everything. I'm going to have like a good, smooth, easy day at work. No, I have not. I've had a horrible day. I walked into nothing but problems and I have not gotten anything done that I thought I was going to get done so that I'd have a clean slate when I left today. So I'm taking my lunch like an hour earlier than I normally do because I just need to clear my head, get out of the building. I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm gonna go like get lunch at like Subway or something and read and just hopefully go back to work in an hour with like a whole different mindset because right now I just want to leave and not go back until Monday. <laughs> That's really where I'm at right now. So whew, time to like decompress for a bit. If only I could like have a glass of wine on my lunch break. Hey everyone. So I did not end up reading on my lunch break. I ended up talking to my mom about some things, which was good. And I'm okay with that decision because I love my mom, but now it is Friday night I'm getting ready to edit last week's vlog, just turn around and have to edit this one. Uh, I am so glad I don't have to work tomorrow. I'm gonna go edit, but first I'm going to drink some wine. I have my Rescue Mom wine glass. I think I'm gonna go for this Montepulciano di Abruzio, Abruzzo, I don't speak Italian. It was on sale at my liquor store. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you on pause because I can't open this twist top with one hand. So hold. That sucker was hard to open. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we're going to go. Hope this is good. Whew. That's got some tannins on it. Um, now to go edit. Hey everyone. So it is Saturday, November 16th. I wanted to wrap up this week's vlog. Just do a quick little recap of what I did this week with reading. So I finished Death on Tap by Ali Alexander. This was a really quick read. I read it in about a day. 
because I had time at the salon to get it done. So finish that. I am currently on page 152 of The Deserter by Nelson DeMille and Alex DeMille. I'm enjoying it. We're finally like to the action. Things are getting interesting. I am on page 434 of Ruin. I fell asleep while reading this last night. I am on page 86 of It All Comes Down to This. That is it for this reading vlog. I will see you in my next video. Anyways, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy reading. Bye.